I think the biggest challenge right now facing the restaurants is winter season's coming. We've all had a really great patio. The, I don't think the weather could have been better for the summer and patio season, but now that that's closing up, it's, it's, it's getting scary again. And, you know, is there going to be a second wave? Is that going to force people to go back to take out only models? I mean, it's, that's the biggest unknown right now, I think, is, is what's coming this winter. Um, there are definitely going to be some challenges uh, to be faced by the entire hospitality industry as we head into the winter months. That to me is kind of the scary uh, time is going to be January, February. Uh, the hospitality industry is always the first one to be hit, last one to recover. Uh, right now, with the way things are going, we're predicting 2023 before uh, we reach back to pre-COVID levels. Um, that being said, I haven't heard of any hotels that are shutting down permanently in our region, thank God. Uh, we've actually got four new hotels that are coming to the area, um, specifically in Windsor, to come see uh, Amherstburg area. So whether or not they start construction on time or whether they're going to open on time uh, will still remain to be seen. Uh, it depends on how long this plays out. Because as we all know, originally we thought this would be over in like May. Um, but obviously, and especially based on today's numbers and things, it's not going to be over for quite a while. You know what, it costs a lot of money here, not just for us, every restaurant in Windsor is trying to cover every, every problem we're having here. So hopefully it's, we're very positive, we think by early next year, we're done with this, we'll move on, back to, back to, back to get in business, and let's stay positive and see what's going to happen next. So thank you. You know, thankfully, I think a lot of the government initiatives um, are helping and uh, will continue to help. Um, and we've been fortunate to be able to take advantage of many of those. So. The government programs have been great um, and they've helped keep a lot of businesses afloat, especially the ones that have taken advantage of them. Uh, the other thing is like for our restaurants and that, we really need people to, you know, now more than ever show their support and support things like Takeout Tuesday. Um, you know, even if you, if you don't feel comfortable dining, just buy a gift card or something, just to keep them afloat and help them out. Right now is just a safe workspace for, for our team and, uh, you know, our patrons who join us and, and uh, plug through it and, and hope it gets next spring, next summer, and, and hopefully it'll be a, a, a dark memory. <laughs>